hello lovely subscribers good to have you once again here it is good that you have clicked on this particular video because you are going to learn a lot in this video i'm going to demonstrate pipe placement for waste drop this is an issue to some people they do it and they don't achieve anything yes in waste drop the waste is dropped this way and so we try to use the electrical stimulation to achieve waste extension so that as patient tries to move along with such movements then we are in the process of reviving the weak muscles my name is thomas ajbu a licensed physiotherapy technician so let's get started then it's going to be a demonstrative video so before we come to the pack placement let's observe something so this is the arm so supposing the patient presents with wrist drop in the left arm you have to be able to know the extensors of the wrist where they insert. So the extensors of the wrist they insert at the lateral epicondyle of the elbow, whilst the flexors also extend to insert at the medial aspect. So our focus is therefore on the extensors because we are going to stimulate those muscles at the lateral compartment to be able to extend the wrist you understand so we have the wrist extensors inserting around this area inserting around this area and so we will have our active electrode the active electrode is reddish it comes with a red color so we place we move a little bit away from the insertion points and then we come to where we have the bulk part of the muscle then we place our active electrode there this way then we pick the inactive one which is black okay then we calculate about let's say 30 centimeters upwards then we place the inactive electrode also there but before you do the pipe placement make sure you wipe the area with alcohol so that any ligaments or ointment, any oily skin can be cleaned so that the pad can stick perfectly well to the skin. Okay, after doing this, you then switch on your machine. I'm going to use Biomed Revived Tense Machine. This is Biomed device. Okay, it's one of the tense machines I have loved so far. It is very good. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the tense option. You know, this is a tense device, but then it has other programs as well. It has EMS and massage options. But with the tense option, I'm going to use the fourth program. And it comes with a duration of 20. But then I will not stick to 20. I can stick to 15 for the treatment. Okay, so when I'm done certain then I begin to I begin to increase the intensity. So I want you to watch the the wrist wall. Let me let me keep it in the position just like the patient will present so that we see whether we can have wrist extension. Okay, so now let's continue. I'm going to increase it to five. Five is optimal. Because this can be very discomfort. Okay. Wow. So you see, but because I want you to see, that's why I've kept my hand in this in this position. But then you need to find a comfortable position for your patient to relax. Okay, the hand. So let me put it down. It will go again. okay when you are achieving the extension it is very difficult to even try to move the the wrist back to flexion and it tells you how effectively the machine is working okay so basically this is how the stimulation is done so note the part placement and you are definitely going to achieve it when you do it in your department if this video is helpful can you give us thumbs up like the video and give a comment if you have anything 
to ask about. If you need any clarification about any other thing, leave it in the comment section. We'll get back to you and give you a response to that. Have a nice day.